Hello everyone, welcome back to Garage Chronicles. Part of being Garage Chronicles isn't always working on cars, sometimes it's just working on little projects. So, just to get you guys caught up here, I've got uh, the brakes sitting over there for the car. Um, and then last week, uh, the exhaust is showing up for the Beetle. So, uh, I'm just giving it a coat of paint. It was the, the black version. Uh, for you guys who haven't seen this style of exhaust before, it's pretty cool. Um, it's a you don't see it at all actually it's completely underneath the car and the actual muffler tip here exits underneath the car so one of the plans to have the back of the car all welded up and sealed up um, is still going to occur so uh, this exhaust you won't see it at all so it should look pretty neat underneath the car um, in addition to that i'm going to make a new cart for the car up there uh, i got some wheels and casters for that and small bed frames i'm going to manipulate and turn into something interesting um, and adjustable so that you'd be able to lift the car up or down uh, roughly two feet. That's the, that's the plan anyways. The car doesn't weigh much, so it shouldn't be a huge um, engineering effort. Uh, and last but not least, I'm going to take a whole bunch of rebar that I've got kicking around and build a couple of stools because uh, it's just sitting out in the rain and uh, the stuff's expensive and I need stools. So that's where we're going to be at this week. So hope you enjoy and uh, yeah, thanks for following along. Right, so what we did there, my dad is uh, a collector of all things golf um, and of course a big golf fan, but this is a club he's had for a long time. Uh, I have a similar one and this is the original throwback to the Tiger Woods uh, uh, Scotty Cameron. So um, he wanted to give it a little refresh, so I sandblasted it and got it all good for him again. So he's going to have his work cut out for him, uh, getting all the, all the white put back in there where the letters are and down of course in the front here where it says Cameron and that, but it turned out pretty good. Cool. So part of having a bend pack lift is you have to accept certain things about it. Um, because I got such a good deal on the lift, uh, I didn't go shopping for other ones, so it turned out really good for, in that respect. But there's a few things that I don't like. I don't like the way the locking mechanism is actuated with air. It's a little bit of a pain in the butt, which means that every single time I want to put the lift down, I got to start that compressor up. I got to let it build up to like 60 pounds of air or something, and then I can lower the car down. So it's not just a simple matter of lowering the car. It now takes 10 minutes. Um, which is, is dumb to me. So um, what I've done is I've picked up a tank that um, I'll store air in, it's right down there. And I'm gonna mount that to the wall or somewhere around here and I'll leave it with 100 pounds of air in it and then it'll just attach directly into the lift. And then when I wanna use the lift, I'll just go ahead and hit the brake or hit the uh, locks on it. And when the tank runs out, I'll fill the tank back up again. So it seemed to me to be a much nicer saw off and getting the whole thing to work properly. So I'm gonna get that all hooked up now. Uh, it's just a lot of this little stuff that you've been doing for a long time, but uh, now we're getting it done. So let's get at it. Okay, so I got my tank all in place here. And uh, what I've done here is I've reconfigured this whole assembly of, of uh, gauges and whatnot here. So um, I just put a filler here that you'd use for a bike tire and that fills it up. That looks pretty good. I'll just sit down there and when I need to top it up, I'll top it up. So that solved a couple of problems for me, which is awesome. Um, so the next thing I want to get into now is building this uh, uh, this cart, the adjustable cart for the car. Um, it's, I'm not sure, This is. I'm just gonna wing this thing. Uh, I'm not really sure how much uh, strength this thing's gonna require, so I'm just gonna move here. Um, but uh, the bed frame it's sitting on right now, uh, is more than capable of holding the car. The car, like I say, only weighs about 600 pounds empty. I guess there's really not much to it. So I'll throw another frame together on the ground here. I'm gonna get my sizes just right for the for the, the width and for the length of the car. Um, because the car itself is really only about four feet in the center kind of thing, um, where the actual footprint of the pad is for it, footprint of the pad, the base of the car. So my thought is to have it sit like this and then be able to move the car up whatever height I want in between. 
we'll see how lucky I get with that. But that's the plan moving forward. So um, let's get started. Four feet by five feet. So this is a good set of eyes here. I can gauge that. Anyway, so that's my plan now. I mean, this face down here, four feet by five feet. Also, because the wheels that I bought, we'll have a much easier time rolling up on top of the lift um, if they're at the right spacing. Because what I didn't factor in when I built this first one, I didn't really build it, I just didn't, uh, just stuck it together, is this width here, the ramp starts there and the other one starts here. So I've got a span I have to fill of 36 inches. It's a little longer than 36 inches. So that's, I need the wheels to be on the outside of that thing there and on the runners. Right down center would be nice. So that's what we're gonna shoot. So part of being of an age where everything hurts, I'm crooked here. They're driving me crazy. Hang on. There we go. That's better. Part of being uh, of an age where everything hurts means that I gotta get things up at a height I can work on them. Um, so I'm gonna bring in my little rolling cart, put this thing up on a little higher so I can get it more of a working height and uh, do a little nicer job. These uh, spa balls are um, not great. Hey everyone, thanks for tuning in for the episode. And just to keep you apprised, I know I've been missing for a few weeks. I appreciate that. And uh, it was um, part of a larger project, a larger project called Getting Married. So yeah, I've been offline for a bit. But you'll notice the beetle used to be up here and now the beetle is down here, which means that the beetle is about to get worked on some more. What I am looking for though, is I need a good uh, painter slash finishing body man person contact. Um, what I don't wanna do is to do a whole bunch of work on this and have a, a painter come and go, I'm not interested in painting your body work. And that happens. So I wanna have a consultation with someone and say, listen, what's, where does my line end and yours begin so I can properly uh, set myself up for some expectations as to how to proceed with this project. So if you have a person in the Lower Mainland that you know, cute little car, isn't it? If you know someone in Lower Mainland that is a, um, a body man for cash or a body man just uh, because they enjoy the work or whatever, uh, Put a line in the comments with their phone number or contact information, email, whatever, and uh, let me know. 
Uh, there's no mad rush. If they have a piece of garage space that they want to have a look at this car and maybe paint it whenever it gets down to that, um, I, it's just, it's beyond my capabilities to paint this thing. I'm capable of doing a lot of work on it, mostly mechanical, electronics, and whatnot, but the paint has got me a bit baffled. So I don't want to get into it too deep and realize all the work I've done uh, has to be removed or changed up for someone else to complete it on it. So I'll let you at least have that discussion. So if you could, in your comments, put a name of someone that you... Uh, trust or know that would be interested in taking part in that project, I would be immensely grateful. And just to keep you guys apprised here, the exhaust now has had its third coat of paint. We are hoping to do a update at Bill's place with the exhaust going on the car and I expect the really cool shifter we got can go on, maybe a few other little things and then we can get back and do some mechanical work and uh, yeah. Um, as for a Mustang update, back there, it's uh, waiting for the bushings. Uh, our friend COVID has decided that it wants to actually get in the way of producing bushings too. So uh, once those show up, I can get the car up on the hoist and do a, a solid on um, doing the front uh, brake job and uh, all the bushings and the sway bars and everything else. Anyways, I'm looking forward to that. It's kind of a nice little change of pace. Um, for what we've been producing lately. Well, to be honest, anything would be a change of pace as what I've been producing lately. So anyways, thanks loyal subscribers and we shall see you soon.